Well, he is the brains behind one of the most popular book series in the world, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. And today, author Jeff Kinney is joining us on The Mix. Thanks for coming on. I'm so excited to be here. You have so much going on this weekend. You're bringing in librarians from around the country to take a tour of Boston. Tell us what they can expect this weekend and why you're doing this. Yeah, they're flying in now. It's really exciting. They're coming from all over the country, um, from Texas, Utah, Oregon, West Virginia, and we're going to show them around Boston. We're going to take them on a duck boat tour. We're going to take them to the old Union Oyster House. They're going to come down to my bookstore. And we're just celebrating them. We wanted to pick out some really special librarians and show them a good time. Why was it so important to you to give back to them? It's so important to give back to libraries because they're the ones that are creating the new generation of readers. Also, a library is the first place that a kid has agency. They walk into a library and they pick out a book that's just for them. So librarians are the ones that are putting books into the hands of kids, and I think that's like a sacred act. You know, a librarian can give you a book that might change your life. That is so true. How did this process work? How did you go about selecting the librarians that do get to come to Boston and feel appreciated this weekend? Yeah, we had a sweepstakes where we reached out to people and hundreds of people gave um, their recommendations for their library and they nominated their librarian. And we found some really special ones, um, some that are dealing with some tough circumstances. They're fighting book bans, they're right at the center of the cultural wars. Um, so it's a tough time to be a librarian right now in many places. Um, you have sold 290 million copies of Diary of a Wimpy Kid series, and you have book number 19 yeah. coming out. This book is called The Hot Mess. Did you write it about me and Anna? Yeah. <laughs> no. We, we have been up since 2 o'clock this morning. It's, it's a hot mess. But no, tell, tell us about the new book. Oh, the new book is about what, what happens when you mix uh, family, heat, and um, in a tight uh, space in a beach house. Oh. Uh, um, so it's about the, the, the family sort of battling for supremacy and the next leader, the next head of the family. Oh, that man. is exciting. I know you've been working with Disney Plus on an animated series as well. Can you talk about that success? Yeah, that's really cool. We got to do the live action films and then we started doing these Disney animated shows for Disney Plus and they're actually films and so far we've done three. We've got another one on deck and then hopefully another one after that, but I'm always working on um, something. So it's really fun to always have something out there in the world. So you also, for those of you who don't know, own a bookstore down in Plainville. It's called An Unlikely Story. We actually featured it on our It Happens right. Here series. It was one of our all-time um, favorite stories to do. You are expanding the bookstore, yes. so tell us what's happening there. Yes, we've been buying properties around the bookstore because we want to build up the center of the town. Um, so we have something called Plainville Square, and we have a website, plainvillesquare.com, where you can see our plans. But we want to create a really great community space. We want to create a green where you can have like pumpkin festivals, outdoor music, things like that, other buildings, an anchor restaurant. So it's going to be a big deal. That's amazing. It's so amazing like to be able to come into a community, and that's really, that's beyond a bookstore that's like building more of a community space for everyone. Yeah, and everyone needs that, that third place or that third yeah. space that's not church or school or work. You know, it's a new place. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're just trying to build community, especially in a really polarized time. Well, I think what you're doing this weekend is incredible, supporting librarians, and it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I I'm really hoping so. <laughs> we're going to do karaoke. It's going to be Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> that sounds really fun. I did read that's your favorite activity. It is. <laughs> it's a little spicy trip, too. All right, author Jeff Kinney, thank you so much. Thank you.